Hi there and welcome to today's products in focus. As you'll be able to see there, the US 30 has continued to grind higher and is now at potential resistance at 16,598. And uh, any break and close above that would be the next technical breakout. And uh, actually the Dow reached an all time high in the July market there yesterday. And uh, I just really, really uh, kind of bullish momentum. However, it's completely stopped dead in its tracks today. We really need to get some other catalyst to help push this over the line. Um, it has actually actually been higher. Sorry, that was the highest close that it had. Um, it has actually been higher, 16,649. Um, but today could be the day. And we'll have a look at some of the economic announcement, economic data, jobless claims, PMI, blah blah blah. Sorry, US data, jobless claims coming out later on today. UK 100 confidently burst through potential resistance at 67.74, pausing for breath right now. Next potential resistance at 68.74, and with Lloyd's coming out today with a 22% increase in profits, um, the market earnings in the UK are certainly looking a bit more bullish today than they were yesterday. Barclays up, Lloyd's up, BT up, Royal Bank of Scotland up. Um, things are, are looking good today so far. Looking at Japan 25, it's had a bounce off that level 14219. This level here has been so important and so strategic over the last couple of months. Um, it's a fantastic level to have a look at if you are a follower of technical analysis. I can see that dollar yen is slowly drifting down again, so a little bit of yen buying, nothing too strong, but there's a little bit of point um, mid there. We're trading above the 21 period SMA, uh, things looking quite interesting there. So that dollar yen position drifting a little bit lower now, slapped by the middle of two ranges, not too exciting if I'm completely honest. Support remains, potential support remains at 101 spot 80, potential resistance still at 102 spot 87. Not a lot of love on there today. Looking at crude oil West Texas, it continues to sell off, trading below $100, $100 spot 60. A close below that opens up a potential to $99. Um, this has certainly had a big turnaround. Uh, and it's definitely past the 50% retracement level. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see further weakness there, dependent on uh, what happens uh, with Libya and Ukraine, blah, blah, blah. I can only presume that crude oil Wednesday yesterday, if I just jump back right here, we like to talk about the crude oil inventories. Uh, I'm guessing, well, to be honest, they actually came out a little bit uh, less than what was expected, but nevertheless, um, crude oil has come down significantly. Looking at gold as well as selling off, and we are seeing dollar weakness as well. I can see GBP, USD, and your dollar all spiking up. Um, so yeah, gold selling off as well. Risk back on, people buying equities, um, selling out of gold and crude. So commodities are out of focus today. In fact, I can see most, most commodity contracts are not exactly jumping around today. Copper's up slightly, um, but yeah, next potential support on gold is at 1267. So if we actually then fast forward onto that euro dollar, it's had a complete reversal from the sell off we had uh, yesterday. You, know, you might remember if you're tuning in that this was already moving down, but not only have we touched resistance yesterday at 38.63 potential resistance, we broke through it today and that opens up the next potential resistance at one spot 39.68. So uh, a complete turnaround. This is a bullish engulfing pattern from a technical analysis perspective. Shows a lot of confidence in the euro. Uh, but then the day before, there's lots of confidence in the US dollar. So we'll see how things pan out. And if we finish up with GBP USD, it's not quite, well, I was going to say it's not quite so confident, but it's well above that potential resistance at 68.20. That is now going to reverse and become the next potential support. Next potential resistance is at one spot 70. And this will be the highest level that GBPUSD has been since 2009. So things are certainly looking good, especially if you're going on holiday. Incidentally, sterling is looking very strong. Um, so UK PMI due at 930, jobless claims at 130 in the US, and you've got ISM numbers, PMI data due at three. Fast forward on to Friday, Japanese data, German data, European data, non-farm payrolls, how could I have forgotten the biggest economic announcement of the day? Uh, of the month, I should say. Make sure you have your alarm set for that. That's going to be a big piece of data coming out. Obviously, private, private payroll numbers yesterday came out very strong at 220,000 versus estimate of 200,000. Um, I don't usually put that as a real good indicator of what's going to happen next, mind you, but uh, big, big figures. Make sure you sign up to our webinar uh, on that tomorrow and join me again tomorrow to find out how Thursday session finished off.